Hey guys, what's going on? Airborne Phoenix here, and today I'm bringing you another Daisy Guide, and this time I'm going to be showing you how to increase your FPS in game and just general increase of performance. So I got the I learned of this through another through another YouTuber. I think his name was Oshi7. He put up a video, and it was four weeks old. So I I'm surprised I didn't see it until now. But thanks to him, now I've sort of sorted this FPS problem. So first of all step one you want to go to this website I'll link it in the description you just, you'll see it on the screen right now and you want to click on the da that one I'm the button I'm highlighting right there it is free just and so you just want yeah you want to get that right there and then you install it and all that good stuff and you get this window will pop up when you open it and so you want to set it to the disk size to 400 megabytes because DayZ is not going to be much bigger than that and you want to set it to FAT16 and though I'm not like a genius at programming or anything so like he said to do this I'm doing this I don't know why you just do it <laughs> and then you click start RAM disk mine is uh what's the word it's not like it's it's grayed out because it's already done on mine but yeah click that and when it's all done uh, you want to go to load and save screen and then on this screen you want to click on the load or tick the load disk image at startup and tick the save disk image at, sh at shut on shut down and then click the button save disk image now and when that is all done you want to go back to the screen and you will see that this is what you want to see it's um the disk side everything will be kind of grayed out in that way it'll be back to unformatted but that's fine that's the way it, you want it to be and so just to quickly show you um this is this is it this is the hard drive it is created it's uh it's made windows think it's it's made my computer think it has another hard drive on it which only got for like 400 megabytes and that's what it's trying to do and it's come up as f on mine but it could be any other letter on yours just it'll be the new one that wasn't there before that's how you'll know it and so just to quickly show you this is like i'm sorry it's so in your face but yeah this is just showing you really quickly how much better it is in speed like per in all that speed stuff whatever I don't know what the technical term for it is but it's just showing you how much better it is what I get for normally on when I write to my external hard drive is what I'd usually do to record I only get 20 uh, MB per second kind of thing and this gets 2800 which is a absolutely insane increase so this that's just how it should make your daisy run a whole lot smoother because that's how it's gonna that's how it's gonna do it. It's just gonna be running on such a fast system. So then this is for Steam users now because I've actually gotten it through Steam. Um he had done it a different way. He went through like if say if he got it from Gamers Gate or somewhere. But yeah, so what you wanna do then is you wanna copy. I'll have um the location of this written on the screen as well by the way. You can see it anyway, but I'll do it anyway. So yeah, you can see it right there. Um, you want to copy the Daisy folder and put it in your. You want to put it in that hard drive, the F hard drive in my case, that the virtual hard drive it has created. And so then you want to use the six updater. Yes, the six updater. This is what I use. And so you want to right click on your Daisy in your new preset. If you haven't, if you don't have Daisy in the new preset, just behind the first opened window there when you when I had right clicked on daisy uh, behind that type in at daisy search it and then right click it and add it to preset add it to new preset and that's how you get it so then right click on daisy go to update our actions then go to create shortcut in desktop folder and so that is all really what he had done at this point is it had created a shortcut but for some reason it with the newer version it creates this bat file and I'm not quite sure I was kinda stuck on this for a while but I double clicked it in any case and my computer is not an animal by any stretch but all I ever really got maximum on DayZ was like 10 to 20 frames 20 frames was the best situation I ever had and now I get 30 easily and 50 to 60 when I'm not even recording so yeah just play this file when you get it and that's all really I mean hope this video has helped in some way um, I recommend you go watch his video as well. This is just like an informative video. I'm not like by any means a genius at programming or following these kinds of things in detail because I'm not. I'm not any. I'm not like 
savvy in that way sort of thing so <laughs> hope you've enjoyed the video check out his video um and all that good stuff yeah hope you've enjoyed the video bye